Skyrim, The Elder Scrolls V, was released over four years ago. The game is still going strong due to a dedicated fan base and the tireless efforts of the modding community to create new features that improve the experience. This guide will cover modding Skyrim for 2016. Focused on combining the tried and true with completely new mods in an effort to update the game. This first video is simply an introduction to the format of the series and to explain the basic groundwork of the guide. Hey guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel. So, this guide is basically be a lot more informal than most of my other guides. You know, the mod organizer for Fallout New Vegas and the mod organizer for Fallout 3, uh, my previous perma videos were all kind of formal. I laid them out really well and tried to get you all the information and show you step by step on how to do everything. This one's going to be a little more informal. I'll do more chatting and kind of giving you thoughts about why we're doing things and my decision process. Uh, of course, let's talk about, you know, why we're doing this. I've been playing Fallout 4 and I was lamenting about the lack of a survival mechanism. And that got me thinking about, of course, Frostfall and, and for Skyrim and, and realized that I hadn't rebuilt my game after I tore the computers apart, rebuilt them all, put in Windows 10 on everything. Opened up the disks or rather the hard drives that the portable hard drives that I had and reinstalled it and I was looking at everything in Mod Organizer and I was really disappointed with the shape of it. A lot of out of date mods when I hit update, a lot of things that I thought, well I never really wanted to do that. And of course Perkus Maximus was there. And I realized that I spent more time playing with Perkus Maximus and all the prockers and reprockers and patches and things. And I decided I wanted to go a different direction if I were to rebuild it. That's what prompted the should I be doing this project video where I asked you guys for advice. And of course that advice was basically, yes, 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 we want it, we want it. Okay. So I basically deleted everything, started fresh, started new with a whole new install of Skyrim and a fresh new install of Mod Organizer. And let's talk about why we're using. Yes. Um, that's because I reinstalled Nexus Mod Manager to ask me that. Let's talk about why we're going to be using Mod Organizer. A lot of the things that we'll be doing in Mod Organizer will be very advanced, and this is the only tool that we can be doing those things. So, you know. If you want to learn about Mod Organizer, I'll be giving you links on how to do that. If you want to, you know, see how we do this step by step, you'll be seeing it, but I won't be explaining a lot of it. And a quick note about links and references. When I say learn about stuff, like for Mod Organizer, I'll be giving you references to Michael from Gamer Poets and his excellent series on Mod Organizer. Or on other topics, I may be sending you to a video by Gopher. When you see a symbol like this or this pop up, all you have to do is click on that symbol and it will send you to a video for one of those guys. And of course, you know, Michael from Gamer Poets is right there. He has all sorts of videos on it. And of course, Gopher is pre pretty much the godfather of Skyrim modding. So he has lots of videos. And if I feel that they are quality and up to date. I will not be updating them. I'll just be referring them to you and then I'll be going through with the install. As far as other, other references, you'll be seeing a, another symbol like this. And that is the step guides. Of course, that's the Skyrim Total Enhancement Project. And the step wiki that we have here is going to be invaluable to us as far as modding. And I will refer you to that. And whenever I do that, just know that there'll be a link in the bottom in the con in the description section, you know, with the appropriate page for anything that we do. Also, you have the step project 2.2.92 and more good information up here. I'll be referring to this occasionally. Like I said, whenever you see that symbol, know there's a link in the description to 
you know, good information for you to read. And I'll just be skipping through that and, and showing you how we install it and what that means. So there's that. What I've done so far with Mod Organizer, you can see it's a fresh install. Um, SKE, S SKSE has been installed already. And here's your first link to another description. I'm going to send you to Michael from Gamer Poets on his video on SKSE. And you can install it his way, and it saves me lots of time. Why rehash old information? Uh, I've also gone through and done my any edits and made all the personal changes I like to make. And there's two references to that. Michael from Gamer Poets has a video on all of his personal any edits. And you can also go to the step guide, and I'll, the link will be down in the description on their personal any edits on how to do it. There's one other thing. Uh, when you see my little symbol, it'll be somewhere on the page if it pops up. It means that I've included documentation somewhere else on copy.com for you to pull up stuff and you can see what I've done. So right now there is a link in the description for a copy.com link to get my personal any edits. If you want to see them, you can do that. But this is just know it's all been done. So like I said, you know, SKSE has been installed. And you can see we've got all the proper information. Um, sorry, wrong thing. Open and Explorer. You can see we have the scripts installed correctly. We have SKSE and the SKSE any installed properly. So there we go. As far as what you're seeing here, of course, you know you have these are not necessary ESPs. So we can go ahead and get rid of those. And archive data, basically, I'm having Mod Organizer manage my archives. But at this point, this is ready to start modding. In my opinion, it's all ready to go. Uh, let's talk about tools. Of course, SKSE is installed. Uh, I have the creation kit because I like playing with it for making edits. You will probably never see that in this video series because it's basically just me goofing around and I'm not an expert on it. Loot, TES5, Rybash, are all good tools to have and almost imperative tools to have for your game. And there are videos, I've done videos on how to install Loot, TS5, and Rybash for uh, Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. There are no changes there. If you want to go through and look at those, I will give you links to those and you can learn about them. Um, I will also include links to Michael from Gamer Poets on his installation guides, just in case you want a different source. And finally, the merge plugins standalone is a very good program for merging plugins, and we will use that sparingly, but it is imperative as we get to the later stages. Uh, I have a video on an introduction of that, but really made or the eternal and reading the documentation for that. And I'll send you to a link for that to learn about that and how to use it properly. You'll see me use it occasionally, but not very often. So that's basically it. Um, like I said, this guide will not be me just going through and explaining stuff and installing it step by step and explaining every step along the way. I'll be doing comparisons from one mod to another. For instance, I was looking at Clamets of Tamriel 5 versus Purity. I'll have footage of both and you can make comparisons. Um, I'll compare Ultimate Start Live Another Life versus Skyrim Unbound. I'll be showing you different texture mods. I'll be doing back and forth, different lighting things, and discussing why I'm making decisions about why I do things and what I, my personal opinion on a mod is. Will it be the right mod for you? No, but at least you'll get an insight on how to mod your own game. And with all the information I'll be giving you, references, guides, other things, you can make your own decisions and learn how to mod Skyrim. So that's it for now, guys. Like I said, this is just basically episode one, me talking about what we're doing. And when we get into the next section and then we'll start downloading some mods and downloading things that, you know, are imperative to, you know, a proper setup of the game. That means unofficial patches. That means Eucharist to load. That means the Ian boost and 
don't get me started about Ian Boost right now. I'm really upset about that. But anyways, that's it for now, guys. I hope you uh, enjoy the series. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, and then we'll get started if for real in episode two. So my name is Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off. Dark in the sky His roar be-